In the family Sumatopapidae, the opai is sometimes referred to as the stub-nosed anteater. Here we... <laughs> Here we see a female that the locals affectionately named Natasha, who has just eaten, as you can see by the remnants of an unfortunate anthill surrounding her mouth. <laughs> she is lucky. For the wild opai, finding food is no easy affair. They have remarkably poor eyesight and instead rely on small hair-like sensory organs on their proboscis. These endow them with an excellent sense of smell. Their journey is long, and mother opais accompany their babies. Here we see a young pup venture into the water. However, they are not good swimmers, and a quick call brings the pup back to his mother. She is always nearby. The opai slows. <laughs> it has found food. They are what is known as vacuum feeders. The movement of their noses creates intense negative pressure, sucking the unsuspecting ant right from the ground and into their mouths. However, they are not alone. The long-nosed manatee anteater is always close by. A majestic and fearsome hunter, its suction feeding dwarfs the opai and is capable of consuming an entire hillside. To protect its identity, I've blurred its face. I'm so sorry. I'm losing it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't do it.